Even I still cannot pronounce my own intro sometimes. But anyway, I should definitely stop playing uh, GTA, if I'm being honest with you, because I've noticed that my engineer's creations are slowly turning into just very, very bad uh, recreations of said vehicles. Last video was obviously the um, of an engineer's equivalent of the, of the uh, Deluxo, which in all honesty, turned out alright. Maybe not from a physical, but from a practical perspective. It actually worked out quite well. Uh, the tran you know, from going from a vehicle to a hover vehicle to a flying vehicle. All three stages of uh, of that actually kind of worked out. This here is a very crude, um, and I do mean very crude, um, copy of the Phantom Wedge. As I've been having a bit too much fun, or at least one of my friends had the uh, has the wedge, and uh, Eventually, I'm going to get that as well. Although, you know, this thing called money in the game is uh, a bit difficult to obtain, and um, you know, various various means to an end. But anyway, yes, in engineers, this rough analog of um, the Phantom Wedge, I I've no idea actually how well this will work. Looks wise, it's definitely not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying it's looking. It, it looks particularly good. No, far from it. Uh, although I did use um, u utilize the fact that we have a bit more. Well, I can play around with blocks here, uh, and you can kind of tell the front of the cab itself pretty much does, um, I, I like I've entered the right-hand seat, um, it pretty much seamlessly curves from the wedge itself, because obviously the Phantom Wedge is just a truck cab with a big fuck-off wedge uh, attached to the front here, and in this case, you know, utilizing the angled blocks, and it actually worked out alright there, so if this thing works, which I don't know. I do have a, uh, a rather large test subject in one of my pickup trucks, and I will be attempting to wedge it. Uh, as it were. Now, let's just say I'm going to be utilizing, obviously, the shield mods just so the wedge doesn't, you know, blow up because, well, the physics engines from GTA to engineers are worlds apart, as we know. And trying to imitate a wedge to get a vehicle out of the way is probably not going to work. I have not actually tested this beforehand uh, in the, in this as I'm recording right now. I've literally just jumped into this world to get this video out to you guys, and I will show you probably how much of a fail this concept will be. But you know, like I said, just messing around with different things. This is kind of what I ended up with. Now, yes, it's not a true cab, I guess, because we don't have the any any attachment things at the back here for a trailer. Not and, that, and that's something I actually probably should play around with at some time. But it's getting that kind of um, you know connection between a cab and a truck. Um, you know, <clears throat> can I say a cabinet truck? A uh, cabinet trailer that's d both detachable and also hingeable. I've seen some people do it with rotors, but it's not kind of, it's not something I've really looked into. But uh, in this instance, um, and I suppose I'm more thinking for a little bit of realism with engineers. I uh, just stuck some cargo containers at the back there just to sort of try to add some uh, mass here. Although this this vehicle is quite a bit smaller. Uh, then the pickup, as you can kind of see, this is um, this pickup, which I made years ago, I, I think at this point, uh, is a lot bigger and a lot heavier. But you know, I suppose we do have, you know, the we have, I suppose, physics on our side in the sense that uh, we have a much uh, more suitable angle to try to get under some of the wheels. I mean, I'm only going to try and hit this thing on one side to see if I can, you know, get it out of my way, deflect it. But this thing is a lot lighter than the pickup, so this will probably be an epic fail, but I'll show you in a second. Although, I do have uh, some thrusters at the back here, just to sort of keep it some extra speed and pushing power. Uh, and, actually, that's a good point. Imagine a Phantom Wedge in, in uh, GTA, for example, with a freaking rocket attached to it. That would be interesting. <laughs> I mean, the wedge itself is pretty damn fast anyway, but, um, yeah, let's take a rocket on it. Although here's me saying, you know, here's me saying um, the Deluxo kind of needs a rocket booster because it doesn't exactly fly that fast. But, you know, hell, maybe we can just attach uh, rockets to all vehicles in GTA at some point. I don't bloody know. You're like a, it's like a rocket upgrade. It'd be like um, a really expensive thing you can get from the, like, the mod shop or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yes, in the settings here, I'm not gonna, it's not too um, complicated. I do have, as you can kind of see, if I just mash 5, uh, the wheel height offset just to get the wedge a little bit lower to the ground, although it doesn't quite touch the ground and it probably never will. Now, let's, um, let's back this thing up here and give this a try and see if we can wedge it. I'm not going to beat around the bush for too long because this is a very gimmicky vehicle. Uh, quite obviously, I'm not particularly saying it's anything uh, to write home about. I was just really pissing around. So, let's just uh, give this a wedge and just see what happens. Yep, <laughs> as expected, the shield mods uh, just caused it to uh, 
back up like that. Although, if I do get underneath it, I can actually <laughs> just push it out of the way, but it's not quite like the like the Phantom Wedge in, in, in um, let's say engineers, in GTA where you just drive at vehicles and um, shit quite literally gets out of your way. Um, I'll try one more time actually, but we do have uh, a nice side on angle here. I would note both vehicles are shielded and energy shields when they kind of interact with each other in terms of uh, an impact, well, they kind of glitch out a little bit, as you kind of see. But anyway, let's try a side-on impact. Yep, we just uh, ended up with <laughs> not particularly much of an impact. But, you know, I I can sort of keep just pushing it out of the way. Um, I mean, the thrusters do help. I, th I think if this... Um, actually, I think <laughs> got it kind of stuck on me now. Get out of my way! Get off me, you stupid thing. Um, I think if, I, if we were on a, um, a much lower gravity planet... Uh, I'd be tempted to do a gravity drive, as people, some people have said in the, um, in previous videos, do do, you know, do gravity drives actually work on planets? They do, as long as said planet, or more preferably moon, has less than half a g of gravity, because I think about, I think it's about 0.5 g's of planetary gravity will override artificial gravity. Um, so, you know, the moon, for example, you can still have some gravity to assist you there. Uh, and at least with gravity drive, they just gravity drives just have more pushing power, especially in this application. But uh, anyway, I suppose I'll just give you one quick view from the um, cockpit's perspective of me uh, ramming into something. <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> that actually worked. Whoa! Oh, oh god! I think I got the vehicle glitched. That's not. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> we have we have a uh, slight um, glitching into the terrain there. Um, Wow. Okay. Well, you saw it on camera. That was not <laughs> that was not intended. It's literally just stuck in the ground by like one block of its like bull bar or whatever they're called at the front. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, one thing just before I wrap the video up, I'll just show you the mass difference. Like if I actually get in here, uh, this thing is about fifty thousand kilos without any weight uh, inside, and this particular vehicle is only forty-two thousand. So I, actually, I stand I stand corrected. It's not that much he uh, lighter the wedge. But, you know, how did... I, I, I don't quite know how I managed to do that. Let's just just, just, just unglitch yourself, would you? Uh, unglitch yourself and then get me probably stuck, it looks like. Can I... Uh, am I able to uh, right this vehicle or have I just got it completely wedged? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I... Okay, this is, this is wedged. <laughs> this is wedged to some degree. Anyway... I wedged the Phantom Wedge. There we go. So I'll um I'll leave it at there. I'm not going to ramble on for any longer than I have to. But yeah, okay. It was more of a fun a fun thing to exper experiment with. But practicality and especially with how the physics works, no, it's not going to work. Uh, ramming any vehicle at that kind of speed in engineers just results in things getting destroyed rather than actually getting deflected, as you would probably expect. Although in saying that, it kind of worked, but actually not at ramming speed. Um, it actually seemed to work better when I was actually travelling slower, but, uh, you know, like I said, just pissing around, not pissing, I was pissing around with a, very, with a very silly concept, let's be honest. So, yes, I'm going to shut up now, because I'm losing my train of thought. So, yeah, like, like I said, let me, let me do anything, this, this round of thing down below in the comments. Leave a bit of score, this is a question as always, as you know the draw by now, so, thank you for watching, I'll see you all in the next video.